Hello and welcome to another Igloo Imaging tutorial. This one's on geometric half tones. I'm going to show you the this one over here, this diamond shape and a hexagon shape. Um, if you want to follow along at home, the document artboards are 1920 pixels wide by 1080 pixels high. And the colors you're going to have to add, the CMYK colors, are there, just the gray and the orangey yellow color. If you add those to your palettes now, press pause, add those values in, and we'll get cracking. Okay, so I'm going to go onto a new artboard. The first thing we're going to do is grab the rectangle tool up here, the shortcut's M, and you're just going to click and drag holding shift so it keeps it an exact square. You're going to let go, let's make this the orange color to start with. Um, it doesn't really matter right now, this is just going to be the guide box. Um, if you can't see transform and these align pathfinder, these other things that I'm using, stroke and gradient, then go up to windows and you can press pause there and open up the ones I've got, artboard, colors, gradient, swatches, transform, that kind of thing. Might make it a bit easier for you. So with the square selected, go to transform, change the width to 500 pixels, and we can just align it to the middle of the artboard if you want with um, the horizontal and vertical line. Then you're gonna go up to view, down to guides and make guides. And that way it just makes it into a guide. It's not actually gonna be on your final design. You won't see these this green line. If you press command colon, it'll disappear. So that's just turning them on and off. So that's what we're gonna use. Um, the next thing we're gonna do, we're gonna do the, the diamond shape one first. So we're gonna draw a square again, same way, rectangle tool, click and drag and hold shift and you're gonna then just rotate this and hold shift again and it'll rotate it round. now the size of this one the top ones is quite small it's only five pixels so let's go to transform put five in and then we'll move this one over to here now if you can't see these pink intersect guides again you want to go to view and smart guides have snap to point and Snap to glyph is a different one, but snap to point and smart guides on. So then if you zoom back out, we're going to copy this one across. Now if you select it and try and do this, it's a bit impossible because it's so small. So if you actually just click off it and hold um, Alt, when you actually click onto it to drag across, you're going to press Shift. So hold Alt, click it, press Shift, and you can move it across. So a bit complicated, hold Alt, make sure it's not selected, hold Alt, click and drag, hold Shift, and it'll go across. A few things to do, but it just means when it's tiny, you can't actually get those double cursors to copy. Because ordinarily, when it's big enough and you've got it selected, you can press Alt and you'll see the cursor change to a double cursor. So it's just a little quirk of, of Illustrator. So with this one, you're gonna have to do it. Um, but you can actually just sort of click near the edge now and you'll get that double cursor. So hold Alt, click near, hold Shift and drag it down until it snaps on that bottom one. Select these, make them 20. That one, 20. And then we're gonna select both of these together with V. We're gonna go up to, um, the shortcut is uh, Alt, Command, B, but you go up to Object, Blend, make blend. Now when you go back up to object, blend, blend options, we're gonna change this to specified steps and we're gonna make 23 steps. That looks about right. Okay, I'm gonna do the same up here. So command, Alt Command B and then object, blend, blend options. Specified steps, 23. So if you select both of these now, and then you're gonna expand it to so objects and expand. All that does is make each individual one a shape by itself. So then select, we can get rid of the guides now, so command colon. Select these two and go up to object, blend, make, and object, blend, blend options. And specified steps 23, same as the other ones. Then click OK straight to object and expand so I'm making them all shapes 
And then when it's selected, you're going to Command C, which is copy, and then Command Shift V, which is paste in place. That just puts one exactly in front. And then we're going to hit return. And we're going to move it horizontally 10.5, vertically 10.5, click OK. Once you've done that, select both and press Command G, then you can move around that whole thing. And once you've done it, you can resize if you hold Alt and Shift. You can resize, you can change its colors, you can do whatever you want with it. You can, um, like in the thumbnail, um, if you select both of them, align there and press Command 7, that does a, a mask. And you can work it out whichever way you want, a diamond shape or anything like that. So the next one we're going to do are these um, hexagons. Works in very much the same way. Um, let's crack on with that. Under the rectangle tool, you'll see the polygon tool. And if you just hit, if you just click, if you haven't got a six sided one, um, then you can put your options in there. Otherwise, I've already got mine preset to, to six sided um, hexagon. <clears throat> so we're going to take this one, we're going to make it uh, transform it to 20 pixels and click and drag it so it lines up on that corner. There we go. And then with Alt and Shift, click and drag that one up there. Change it to five. Select both of them. We're going to use the shortcut this time, Alt Command B, and then go into Object, Blend, Blend Options, Specified Steps, and this time 27. Um, and then we're going to transform this. So if we go to Object, Expand, click OK. We're going to go up to Effects, Distort, Transform, Transform. And in here, preview, make sure Preview is ticked. Um, we're going to move it to the side. So we're going to move it horizontally 30 pixels. Now, it's moved it. It shows you where it was. It shows you where it is. And if we add the copies up to about 16, then that just copies things over. Click OK. If we select uh, everything then, we can just object, expand, and we've done the same thing there. So we can Command C, Command Shift V, hit Enter, and we've got that movement again of 15 and 9.5. And from that point there, you can then change the colors. Um, you can add in mask uh, shapes. So if you want to mask it within another hexagon, um, you can do that. You just press Command 7 with two selected. And that is how you do half tones within shapes. I hope that was useful. Please like and subscribe. The more you like, the more the videos get promoted, the more I can make extra videos. So everything's appreciated. See you again next time.